today the topic of discussion is triggers in sql so what we are going to learn is what is trigger and how we can create a trigger and after that we'll use oracle 10g to run this particular oracle syntax of oracle okay so i'll, I'll make a very good example for you to run this uh, trigger let me start trigger triggers in sql triggers are stored program or procedures which are automatically executed or fired when some event occur events may be any of the following what is trigger actually trigger is a stored program or procedure which automatically executed on an occurrence of an event Sub on an occurrence of an event i am giving you an example you generally get short tempered the meaning of getting short temper is what you are getting triggered why you are getting short tempered just because some event has happened which is just not liked by you in a similar fashion in sql when something occur triggers fire automatically and what is trigger trigger is a stored program so event can be any of the flow following so what are those events event could be data manipulation language it could be de delete it could be insert it could be update anything data definition language on a uh, statement like create alter or drop you, uh, trigger can you know, fire automatically and database operations like log on log off start up or shut down these are few events which which makes triggers to fire which uh, which automatically fires the triggers clear okay then triggers can be defined on a table the views schema or database with which the event is associated so trigger on which part we can apply trigger we, we can apply trigger on a table we can apply trigger on views schemas and database with which the event is associated let's move further benefits of trigger very important trigger can be written for following purposes gain strong control over security second is enforcing referential integrity hope you understand referential integrity is uh, it's all about uh, foreign key constraint referential uh, if you have studied foreign key constraint it will be nice for you it will be better for you to understand this event logging and storing information on the table access no if somebody is logging and accessing a table at what time uh, james is accessing a table and what time uh, ivana is accessing a table so this are uh, uh, key, this information is kept with the help of triggers net then for the purpose of auditing if you need to audit something then you use trigger synchronous replication of table if you are replicating a table replication means you are creating a duplicate entity of a particular table then you use trigger preventing invalid transaction if you want to prevent invalid transaction because today it's uh, the the internet is a main source of vulnerability uh, to the security so preventing invalid transaction is uh, is one of the uh, major concern and for which we use uh, triggers okay then comes the syntax of trigger let me tell you syntax of clear very clearly create or replace trigger the first line is create now you are going to create a trigger you can create a trigger or you can replace already existing trigger so that's why i have used here create or replace trigger and then comes trigger name so like table you write create table table name in a similar fashion if you need to create a table create a trigger you need create trigger create trigger and then trigger name after that before after you need you what what do you want you want this trigger to execute after an event or you want trigger to execute before an event after that on which event it could be insert or it could be update or it could be delete then on which table table name which on which table you are going to apply this trigger then this is a very important part on table then for each row there are two types of triggers actually mainly there are two types row level trigger and table level trigger so right now we'll study a uh, uh, row level trigger so for row level trigger it is mandatory to write for each row then comes declaration part declaration part you give declaration statement suppose you have created a variable then you need to write a declaration statement for that after that you write begin you are now going to start the beginning part and beginning part contains the executable 
verbal statement what do you really want to execute in the trigger than the end part so this is all about the syntax of a trigger so let me uh, recap all the things very clearly first part is create trigger trigger name or if you want to replace you can write replace then comes before or after on which event you want to apply the trigger it, it could be before or that event it could be after that again then then that event name event name could be insert it could be update it could be delete then comes table name on which table you want to apply trigger then comes for each row as this is a row level trigger then declare then begin <coughs> and end excuse me then comes create i have clearly mentioned everything create create trigger then trigger names this creates or replace an existing trigger with trigger name so this is what i told you if trigger is already existing it will replace it if it is not then it will create it then before after this is specifies when the trigger will be executed before a event or after event insert update delete this is specifies the dml operation what are that events so it could be insert it could be update and it could be delete and all these three are dml operations then on table name this is very important this is specifies the name on the table associated with the trigger so you always make a trigger on some table so so this on table name is table name of a table then comes for each row very important so let me read it for you very clearly this specifies a row level trigger that is the trigger will be executed for each row being affected otherwise the trigger will be executed just once when the sql statement is executed which is called a table level trigger so table level trigger execute only once only for a table and for row level trigger it will execute for each row okay let me move further then comes example of trigger so uh, here i have created a trigger uh, for calculating a salary difference every month when you get a salary what happens suppose uh, you are james and your account balance on 31st of august is twenty-five thousand dollar and on next day when your salary gets credited it will become after if you get a ten thousand salary dollar then it becomes thirty five thousand dollars so this is where i'm creating a trigger create trigger this is create trigger and my trigger name is salary difference then as as per syntax then comes before before or after so i'm using before on an event could be it could be insert it could be delete it could be update so whatever i'm doing either i'm inserting on a table in so even i am deleting on a table either i am updating on a table on which table i am talking of table imp i am talking of table imp i have created already created a table imp so i am i have applied this trigger on imp table then comes for each row very important part i have already told you then comes the 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 condition part when new dot employee id is greater than zero this is a quite fact every employee has an id and which is always greater than zero nobody can say so my id is zero or my id is minus one uh, nobody gets id like that then comes declare statement and here is a, a, a variable which i have declared my variable is salary difference and the data type of this uh, variable is number then comes begin statement then i have i have executable statement like salary difference and what is salary difference new dot salary just remember new is a pseudo record remember very important part new is a pseudo record and for new and for old you use colon for new and for old you use colon so colon new dot salary my new salary is 35 thousand my old salary was 25 thousand and the difference will be 10 thousand which will be automatically comes in salary difference and for equal to you use colon equal to just remember this after that very important part in order to print a line in dbms you you for printing a line in c language you use printf for printing a line in python you use print for uh, java you use system.out.println similarly in dbms if you want to print a line then you use dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then comes a, a single quote that will be printed as it is old salary and then you use pipe and this is a pseudo record old and old dot salary that what was my salary before credited 
then comes new salary similarly then comes salary difference the, this will be print, printed as it is and then salary difference which we have calculated over here will get printed okay then comes end and this is the last part so hope i have tried to explain you what is trigger and what this trigger is actually working like okay so one very important part which i want to tell you is that this yes set server output on if you want to see your output if you want to see this output then you need to type this on your oracle as i'm using oracle 10g then if i want to see the output on my screen then this statement needs to be executed otherwise i won't be able to see the output okay so this was all about trigger after that i'll use after that i will use oracle 10g to give you a live demonstration how this triggers is working so let's move to the online demonstration okay okay as i already told you that whatever i taught you in ppt i'm going to run the same on oracle interface okay so here is the screen in front of you and you can clearly see i'm having a table unknown as imp table and i have selected everything from that table and order by employee id so you can see there are three columns employee id employee name and salary the first employee is john and whose salary is twenty thousand dollars and and the second employee is shane whose salary is thirty thousand and the last is showman whose salary is twenty two thousand okay so let me show you the trigger so okay so before building that trigger before creating that trigger i've already created and without wasting time let me copy it down from this notepad and let me paste it for you okay so this is what trigger i have already told you i've already taught you in ppt okay now i'm going to show you the clear and real demonstration live demonstration of that okay so for running i use the slash and trigger created so automatically what happens the trigger gets created okay now let me show you the table again see the table and this on this particular table imp now trigger has been created so on a occurrence of what insert on occurrence of delete on occurrence of update the trigger which i have created what imp salary will automatically get fired so let me check so so what what i'm decided what i've decided as an owner of an organization i decided that john having employee number one salary is twenty thousand is working very nice and i've decided to increase his salary from twenty thousand to thirty thousand so what i'll do i'll update the salary what i'll do i update his salary so okay let me show you what okay update salary okay imp set salary equal to thirty thousand. so his previous salary was what twenty thousand. now i'm increasing his salary to thirty thousand. where employee id is one what will happen see 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 the magic okay see the magic after doing after running this query what i'm getting old salary of that person was twenty thousand. his new salary is what thirty thousand, and the difference which i gave him is of ten thousand. and now one row has been updated okay so because this was before uh, uh, trigger so before uh, having everything uh, this this part is getting executed this part has got executed okay now let me show you insert okay so let me show you insert suppose insert insert into m7 suppose uh, okay before showing in insert i show you delete suppose i'm not happy with showman his work the employee having employee id 7 i'm not happy with his work and i've decided uh, to to ask him to leave the organization what i'll do i'll i'll fire him i'll i'll fire i'll execute a delete query so what i'll do delete from imp where employee id is 7 what will happen see old salary was 22000 showman old salary was 22000 new salary it's, it's rubbish if somebody is going his new salary is nothing and salary difference will be nothing because what is salary difference new salary minus old salary if new salary is nothing is unknown value then what what is the use of calculating uh, salary difference okay so in case of delete you will you will you will only get old salary now now let me show you the case of let me show you the case of insert okay now what happened after some time i realized that showman was a good man and i should bring him back what i'll do i'll make a insert into imp values seven his was his employee id his name is showman and 
I'm offering him about 22,000 salary. What will happen? See, okay, on executing, trigger get automatically executed. Old salary was nothing because he's the new employee now. His old salary, I don't know about his so called salary. New salary is 22,000 and salary differences again. So, in case of insert, you will get new salary, new value. In case of delete, you get old value. So, this is what I just wanted to tell you. So, this was all about triggers.